afternoon, everyone. I am vlogging right now because of something funny that has happened that I'm still kind of tearing up laughing. over. I'm <laughs> still so funny. I, okay, so Phil's not feeling too well. No. And he's like, I need coffee, <laughs> I want milk for my coffee, but we're out of milk, and he was really sad. I was so sad, it's the only thing I wanted was a cup of coffee. I came home, and I was like, okay, we have no milk. So, Kat kindly volunteered, and I said, Kat, will you go get two pints of milk for me, please? No, it was, it was like, it was more like I was walking out the door, and he was yeah. like, yeah, get two pints of the, oh, the slightly skim or whatever. She comes back with eight <laughs> pints of milk, what, why, why, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's my reasoning. When I got here, there were two of those jugs in the fridge. Like, there was one in there and there was one back there. And I was yeah. like, okay. So when you said two pints, I was just thinking like, oh, two of those bottles. Because, <laughs> like, we don't really do stuff in pints. I guess we do sometimes, but yeah. I just wasn't thinking like, I was thinking like, oh, it's like a liter or something, right? So this is four and pints. And this is another four pints. Yeah, so I mean... So we've got a lot of milk to go out. So we've now. got plenty of milk. Should we make milkshakes? Oh, yeah, we should. Yeah, let's make some milkshakes. But although milk's not very good for you if you're sick. No, it's probably, so probably not shouldn't have too much. Drink. Have you heard my nose? I sound like a goose at the moment. Hello, everyone. I almost so, prefer you sounding that way. I should just keep this cold forever. Yeah, just just keep it. It's good for the yeah. voice. Should keep the camera back, though. I don't want to infect the internet. Oh, yeah. Guys, stay, stay away. Anybody everybody everybody, wash your hands after this video, please. Ugh. I kind of didn't film anything else yesterday after my introduction, and it's my last few hours here. No. I know. I'm sure the guys are like going to be kind of relieved that they're going to have the place to themselves a little bit. Cuz it's nice to like when people leave, it's nice to yes. Yeah, it's nice to like when people stay at your house, like when they're gone, it's like you don't feel that stress anymore of entertaining people and having to like make We're sure they do. eat. The and cat has gone down so <laughs> Oh god. Woo! I have a feeling that's gonna be reblogged on Tumblr a lot. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> no, it's okay. So I am packed and we're gonna go get lunch and then I'm gonna go to the airport to go to Germany to go to Gamescom, which I'm so excited Woo! about. And guess who played his first game of League of Legends today? Yeah. Dan! So if you never hear from me again, it's Kat's fault because she made me download League. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. Whenever I get a another convert, I'm just like, yes! League of Legends, Did we do a good job of entertaining you? You did! You guys were amazing hosts. That's good. I would give you five stars on Yelp. <laughs> yes! Yeah, good food, good company, good place. Apart from the banging. Apart from the banging construction, but yeah, really good place. And they gave me lots of Ribena. Yeah, we did indeed. Did we Which, convert you to the Ribena train? You did. I like Ribena now. Like, I find myself being like, mm, I'm gonna go make myself some Ribena. I wonder if they sell it in the States. I don't think so. Maybe in the British section. Yeah, maybe in the British part. section. I'll have to check. I'll become a Ribena person. Ribena Alright, let's get some food. For my last meal in London, I am getting fish and chips that I've never had before. Yeah. And what better what better place to have it than London? So here's my fish. It's good fish. And, and there's, there's your chips. There's my chips. And there's Tartar tar tar sauce. Tartar yeah. sauce. What's in tartar sauce? I don't know. I've got no. I don't know what it is. I never have it. Oh well, I'm gonna try it because I might as well. Yolo. And do a demonstration on how you like cut the fish, Phil. <laughs> There's no specific way to cut the fish. Well, Dan did a little breaky thing in the middle. I just go. Oh, I was just cooking it. Out. Oh. And then wow. I'll I love put some your lemon. technique. Lemon. Ooh. And then you put vinegar on it? Yep. No, you put vinegar on your chips. Oh, really? Yeah, not vinegar on the fish. I thought you put vinegar on the fish. I would have put vinegar on the fish if you hadn't told me. I put vinegar on everything. I'm a vinegar fiend. Well, maybe I'll put vinegar on everything. I don't know what I'll do. But I'll let you guys know how I love it. Alright, so I really liked the fish and chips. They were really good. I feel like we went to a little bit of a more fancy place, and so it was like definitely good. Um, there it is. I couldn't eat all of it, but I don't want to make myself sick before, <laughs> before I go on a flight. And um, there's my fries, I mean my chips. What did you guys think of it? Delicious. Delicioso. Yeah. What did you just use like eight languages in one sentence there. It was good fish and chips, yeah. Good. Fancier than you get at a normal takeout place, but very good. Bye, Kai. Have fun in Germany. to the camera. <laughs> it's okay. And uh, our cat broke down, so um, I'm on like a 
freeway right now. Just uh, barely even on the, the right side of the road and I have to climb out the window to get out of the car and I'm freaking out because I think I'm going to miss my flight and our car's broken down and I want to get out of this cab. As you can see, our cab driver's climbing out the window, which is what I'm going to have to do to get out. So we'll see if another cab comes soon and if this car starts or anything. I feel like I'm on the amazing race and I'm trying to get somewhere and my cab just broke down. So woohoo! I ended up getting a new cab. I had to like wave somebody down on the road and thankfully somebody stopped and picked me up and hopefully I still get to my flight on time. That was really hectic. Like the cab driver's car just like stopped working in the middle of the road. I've I've never been in a car that's broken down before, let alone on my way to the airport when I'm kind of already feeling like ooh stressed for time and uh, in another country when my phone doesn't work and I can't make any plans. So that was exciting. Um, so I'll let you guys know if I get to my flight on time. I think I made it to the airport on time with like just enough time to spare. That was extremely hectic. I don't know if I even told you guys about the part where Dan and Phil locked their keys in the house. So not only were their keys locked in the house when I needed, my cab was there and I needed to go, then the cab driver's car breaks down in the middle of the street on the way here. And then finally, I get to the airport. So hopefully, I'm not like jinxing myself when I say I have, hopefully I don't have any passport issues because that would just make for the perfect storm of a trip. So we will see how things go and I will let you know if I get to where I need to be. I can't remember if I already vlogged whether I got on the flight or not, but here I am. I'm on my flight on the way to Cologne and yeah, it was, it was quite the journey to get here, but I've made it on the flight. I have to get through the border though when I get to Germany, which is the part I'm all nervous about. But uh, this flight will be taking off soon. And I will see you guys in Germany. And if I knew any German words, I would say them right now. But I don't.